Okay, let's talk about the console. So this is where the work is happening in R, right? So the console prompt, basically, uh, there's a list of commands, right? So you basically, that's where you would type your commands. Uh, what you're going to see on the left side is this greater than sign. So whenever you see this greater than sign showing up in your prompt, it means that it's waiting for your command, right? Um, so after you type in a command, you can simply press the enter or the return key, or uh, you could also use uh, a semicolon if you actually want to have multiple commands on the same line. I normally don't do that. Normally, I'm just typing in one command in the line and pressing enter, and that will execute it in the console. Okay. Um, so for example here, if you just typed in print in parentheses and in quotes hello, you would print this in the console, and then right underneath it, you will see something like this, where you have this uh, square bracket one and the word hello in quotes. And we'll go into more details of exactly what that means, uh, but that's what you, would, you should see in your console. Now just some uh, basic syntax when we're doing with R. Uh, remember, uh, the way you can see what's inside of a variable, right? Because a lot of things we're going to be creating are variables or data structures where you're storing information inside. If you want to see what's inside, all you have to do is just type the name of that object and into the console and it'll print it out in whatever way it's uh, hopefully readable. Uh, if you uh, type in a word that is not a name of a variable, then you'll get an error, right? So every time you type in a word without quotes, it looks for in your workspace to see if there is such a variable with that name. If it doesn't find it, it'll give you an error. So if you want to refer to it as a word and not a variable name, you have to put quotes around it. For example, if I just typed in the word hello, I don't, I haven't, I don't have a variable name uh, hello inside, so it will just say object hello is not found. Okay, uh, and also the names of objects and functions are case sensitive. Uh, a capital P print is different from a small p print. Okay, the one we often use is the one with the small p. So a few more things. Uh, it's highly, highly, highly recommended that when you're writing code, you comment it, right? So you put your comments about why you did this, what's the purpose of this code, uh, what are the expectations of the code, just so when you are submitting it as a homework or even for your own reference so that six months, one year later when you look at this code, you remember why did you have to do these steps for your analysis. And the way you write code is you just put this hashtag. So on, and everything on the right of this hashtag is completely ignored by R. So you can write it anywhere, and you will see when you're actually typing it in the editor, it will give it a different color so you know that it's being completely ignored. So uh, in the case also, in the case that you have a really long line of code, right, and it doesn't fit, and you actually want to enter things into a different line, you can do that. Um, so R is okay with knowing whether you've completed or you've finished your function call. So for example, if you uh, wanted to print the variable x, you don't have to put print parentheses x close parentheses in the same line. You could actually have x and then in the next line you can close the parentheses. And you will see later on when our commands get really long, this actually makes it easier for us to organize and write our code in a much easier uh, way to, so we can see it better and we can comment it and we know exactly what's going on.